Hey, what's up guys? My name is Azo, and today I wanted to take a look at Deathfire Touch Z. I'm kind of going to make an experimental series where I do experiments on Z, trying out different builds, different requests, different etc. Um, because there are a lot of them. There are a lot of weird builds and weird ideas that people have sent over the years. Um, I have a bit of a cold right now. It's better than it was yesterday. It's way better than it was the day before yesterday. Uh, so I do kind of want, I still wanted to make a video, so here we are. So I'm going to show you guys two games, I'm going to edit them down, and I will be using uh, this mastery page where I try out if it works. And I mean, the verdict before you even watch the games, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's fine. Probably not as good as, uh, as uh, Thunderbirds though, but there are a few reasons for that. Primarily, and what I tried to play around was that you have um, the 7% armor penetration from battering, I think it's battering blows, and that means you kind of don't really maybe want to go lethality, since you also don't get any lethality from the cunning tree, which you would normally get when you go Thunderlords, you get a lot of lethality, you can stack lethality, you can rush lethality, so maybe I wanted to try it, maybe you want to, don't want to do that. So I went back to the build, if you guys remember when I thought Lethality was going to be bad, when they first announced Lethality and it was bad, meaning it was 40% and there were no increases, basically just the same, they just gave you another item, which was kind of ass. So I had an emergency build, which I tried out, which works fine. Um, I did a variant of, the, of that in the first game. And then I tried out just normal lethality in the second game. Minor spoiler, more, just standard lethality works fine. Um, as always and as normally, you don't really feel the difference between a couple of points here or there in lethality. It was the same way with Yomus. Yes, it's not as good now, but you basically don't feel that big of a difference, in all honesty. Um... So I wanted to kind of try out this huge AD spike in the first game where you get a lot of AD to get a lot of value for the Deathfire Touch. Mm, mm, it was fine. I You have consistent damage, because I kind of wanted to see if I could do no lethality. You have a lot of options for other items to try out. So I wanted to try out what if you do a TM to spread the Deathfire Touch. Because another good thing with Deathfire Touch is that you can hit a lot of people with it. And you don't have to hit three strikes on one person, meaning it's consistent. It's a lot of damage. And when, like, when you have a lot of AD, it can actually be a lot of magic damage too. So I kind of want to do this spread out AoE gameplay. But all of that is very theoretical. And there are instances when it works. When you have a big lumped up team fight where you can do E or multiple Qs and Tiamat. And with Black Cleaver shredding all of that. And then Death Fight Touch on all of it. But it's very hypothetical. It doesn't really work out that often, so. But it was fun. And I wouldn't say it's bad, specifically. It's actually possibly kind of viable. I just think losing the burst in early game, and in mid game, mid and even in late game, is kind of a big deal. And losing the Uthadi is kind of a big deal. So I think I would still go, if I really want to win, I'd probably still go Thunderbirds. But... Try it out, experiment with it, and let me know what you guys find. But in the meantime, do enjoy the crypts, and I will see you guys some other day. Hopefully next week. I don't know. I'm not going to promise any weekly specific dates anymore. Cause... See you guys. Enjoy the games. Have a good one. Peace. I think the start should be rather strange comparatively, because you won't be playing around... Um, Thunderlord's like three hit passive, but you'll have still have like more effective cues in a way. But also, since you don't have enough lethality, I don't know, it's gonna be strange. I think it's actually a pretty good comp to do it against though, so huh. We'll see how it works out. I have been, I'm considering what kind of item build is optimal with it though. I'm wondering if a Tiamat into Hydra Rush could even be good here, but I'm uncertain, so. You know, final build might not be the one I do in this game. I guess we'll see how it works out. I'm doing fine though. She has cloth armor, so I'm not really expecting to do that much. 
It's really what a god understand when you're playing these lanes. If someone um, who's kind of bruiserish is ganking, but it's a really bad time to gank because I have so many minions. Usually, that's if you're a jungler, just don't gank around that time. That was bad farming on my part. Okay, so if it's too many minions, um, both I'm gonna take damage from minions. I'm gonna lose the minions, and even if we get the kill, it's just not gonna be that good. I'm gonna get him. I'll pick him up, that's fine. So I tricks up here too. Just so let me pick up um I think it doesn't hurt to do Hex Drinker. Or not. I thought she was gonna go in. Let's see if I can there we go. That's what I wanted her to do. Because this way oh there she is. Mm, that was kind of a waste of the knockup. Kind of a waste of the knockup there, and the waste of my HP. So I went in to tank it for her. I'll just go for her now. Yeah, that's fine. Didn't have to waste more. That was an interesting jump, wasn't it? You set it up so she jumps back? I don't even know. There we go. Now I got used to it finally. That's first blood turret. Presumably. Still first blood turret, I think. He's gonna wanna go for me, so. Oh, nice. Oh, he does have that. Wait, so what's his GA thing for then? You had ultimate? <laughs> Dude. I don't even know. It's awkward not to have the moon speed again. There she is. Well, death by touch didn't work. Kind of. Okay. Can we not talk about the fact that I missed someone who was like basically stunned? Can we can we just not talk about that right now? It's fun to try new builds though. I don't really experiment much uh in general, but it's fun to try new builds like this. Although I think the verdict is probably gonna be that it's not that good. But. That works. I it, maybe it is good. I just don't feel it because you don't see the burst, which is a relevant part. Um, surprised like instant damage is a relevant part. It shouldn't be underestimated. No. Gotcha. Feels really weird to play with this one, so I'm just gonna use it. Yeah, it works. Is it gonna? Co oh, there it is! Holy crap! Yeah, that works. That is gonna work. How many times does it do that on every turret? Damn. Yep, seems like it does. It is good damage, but... Is it great damage, though? Is it? Guess we'll find out. Maybe Cleaver is like the anti-synergy that I'm not wanting. Maybe I'm thinking about this all wrong, actually. Because I want to play around having the most value... Why is he taking CS? I'll play around having the most value with my percentage. Okay, that was a little bit greedy of me. I was playing just for the last hit there. It is interesting to use this kind of build again, though. It's been a long time since I did.
I do need to get used to Tiamat though. Since Tiamat is a bit different from Titan- or um, Hydra is a little bit different from- sorry, Revenous Hydra is a little bit different from Titanic. Also got used to the fact that I'm gonna aggro turret by doing this. There we go. Which you can use to an advantage, like if you aggro turret away from your minions and just take like two shots then you can easily like, get the turret easier, so... Yeah, maybe it's something to think about? I don't know. Yeah, another kind of a bad fight here. I don't think that's gonna happen either. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Death Fire Touch got him. Oh, look at that value! <laughs> okay, guys. It's confirmed. Death Fire Touch. Really good. Death Fire Touch. Alright. Play it in your games. It might it might net you that one kill with your sing your only single target damage spell. Might net you that one kill. Damage is pretty good. Uh, probably, uh, if I had to uh, give a final verdict, it would probably be that <laughs> um, you should do standard builds, not try something crazy with it. Or in this case, crazy stupid. Okay, just one question, guys. When you throw the AD carry away from me, how do you expect me to kill him? I will, but how do you expect me to do it? I can actually kill this guy now. How about that? So, we are sitting at a lot of AD with this build, but I don't think it, that small extra amount of AD really does any difference um, in the grand scheme of things. It is magic damage, so it won't get any bonus from lethality, but all my other damage sources will, so... Okay. Well, this is uh, less than optimal, I will say. <laughs> oh boy. Fucking got him, dude. Well, I got this guy's GA and a Kali. So. Don't think we're gonna play through this game, though. But. I'm doing what I can. I'm gonna fight to the end. Here we go. <laughs> I have no chance against this, guys. No chance. Do I? Don't think I do. Oh, you want me to defend that? I was just gonna let it die, but thank you for telling me to defend the Tradition. Nexus. The way we win the game, or lose the game in this case. Very educational, very um, good insight. Are we going here? I thought we could do this. There we go. Wow, that was really shit. Are we seeing the build pay off? It's just a late game DFT. Actually, you know what? Late game DFT is probably not bad at all. But, um, overall, eh. No, that, I would say late game DFT is probably not bad at all. Because it scales differently. Yeah, with Elder Dragon, I don't, th yeah, I don't think they're just gonna run it in. What is she doing? Oh no, that was our one sh way of winning the team fight. Well, this could be a way of winning the team fight too. Yep. 
Oh, come on, give me the Quadra. Wow, this Akali is pretty mad. She's pretty mad. Oh, well. I'm gonna have to test it a little bit more, but it's not, it's not inherently awful. Okay, let's see how it works with a fairly standard build, and I'll do normal lethality. I was, for a moment, terrified that I had been recording all of this with a muted microphone. However, it was not muted, so good on me. Really good on me. really hope I'm um, recovered for next time I try to record a video. I've been sick for so long now. So yeah, the Death Fire Touch. It is interesting. I mean, as long as I don't do more stupid builds with it, it could probably work out. This is going to hurt a lot. Oh well. With that Q hitting, I think we're actually in good shape still. Because he doesn't have flash. So we can start doing shit like this. And now he's in really bad shape. Although, I'm not too safe flashing onto him here. Because he has exhaust. And I don't have W, so... The only good thing is that it's going to take him some time to clear this, but I'm not sure exactly how much time it's going to take. And it also means that he has a minion advantage. That's fine though. The only risk is dying to his minions now. So, another thing I've realized is that the, the WE is way stronger now with this build. It has more pressure since you add a DFT effect to it as well. Maybe not way strong, because you're also losing the damage from not having lethality from the um, cunning tree, which I think, I think in the end, that's going to be more detrimental than uh, the benefit of having lethal, or the benefit of having death fire touch. Can't really just leave mid lane, but I guess I kind of expect the jungler to go. It's my bad though. I'm gonna do this so I can get the AD. Excuse me, 9 AD, which is pretty nice. Hey, okay, where's the fun of that? He's still dead. Oh, that was our spell. <laughs> Thought it was maybe like a Nautilus or something. Someone die? Yeah, top lane died again. Okay. Yeah, I guess. It's interesting. He did flash before, so... Means I can do this. Like, overall, over time. And you get it in AoE if you fight team fights with a lot of AoE. That's why you saw me trying to partially do Tiamat. I think it's just a little bit too hypothetical, and that's usually the problem with League. People do uh, things that are a little bit too hypothetical to be actually effective. So usually it ends up being not too good, I guess. Um. Oh, I just... No one saw that. No one... Absolutely no one saw that. Can you guys just tell me that you didn't see that, okay? You just didn't see that. Huh? That's good? We're all good? Okay, good. It's, it's great. It's great. Nothing happened. I'm just uh, trying out colorblind mode a little bit. Just checking if this is warded. Oh, okay. Nope. No, you're on your own. I'm sorry. He is very strong. Uh, Valkos is really weak, so no point. In okay, man, maybe he's still kind of strong. This is Valkos, I suppose. I mean, I guess not. Let me get to. There you go.
I'm a little bit sad that Ellie's died, but I guess it's fine. Okay, she's a little bit early on that, but... Eh, she's so early that she's gonna die for it. That's very early. Oh. And she didn't even die, nice. Waiting for minions, then I'm going. You crushed the eye of the herald. That's not very nice. And look at this. Boom. Holy fuck. That damage is absurd. Look at this. Boom. 40% of the turret HP. They can't clear this. And that's it, man. Game over. I don't have ultimate, so I'm a little bit scared of it, but... Eh. My Herald's gonna clear it anyway. Right? Clear it, dude. Clear it! Oh, no. Oh, we got it. Okay. I was just getting ready. Do not fear the shrouded path. Do fear death, though. Okay, that was pretty bad. Herald, her oh, sorry, death fire touch. There we go, yeah. See? Getting some death fire touch value, guys. Very nice. Wow, that was really far up. <laughs> death fire touch value, guys. Death fire touch value. How about that? How about that? He doesn't have um, flash here. He's dead. Did he use flash before to get away from us? I'm just not risking it. That Ardens makes me really want to buy Bork though. Um, not sure about that. Oh, there we go, 4680. Death fire touch? Not enough. Oh boy. That's gonna be game. Either way, hope you guys enjoyed. It was very fun hosting you guys. And I will see you all in another video. Adios.